Welcome back to Horror Movies. In a few seconds, you're going to listen to a frightening tale narrated by me. Fear awaits you. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a high school girl named Ever packing lunch for her mom. Her mom notices that she's uncomfortable and tries talking to her but Ever insists that she's okay. Ever's mom leaves for work, and Ever places a banana in her bag. She hears a honk while sitting and walks outside to her best friend Tamara's car. Ever gets into the car, and Tamara complains she's wearing too much and should expose some more skin. Tamara gets excited because they're about to go on a field trip. She begins talking about some new friends, and Ever tells her she's not interested in hearing about them. Ever tells her to stop, but she keeps talking and gets distracted. Ever tries stopping her, and she hits a guy named Randall as he's riding a bike. Ever gets out of the car to check on Randall, and Tamara steps out. Randall gets angry because he almost got killed, but he calms down when he sees Tamara. Ever tries to help him pick up his bag, but he refuses her help. He tries to talk to Tamara, but a drink suddenly hits him. Danny and Hunt laugh as Randall gets soaked with the juice. JC, Danny's girlfriend, comments on Tamara's outfit, and Tamara ignores Randall and pays attention to her. Danny drives off as they laugh, and Ever asks Randall if he needs a ride to school. Tamara refuses and tells Randall there's no room in her car. She walks back to her car, and Ever apologizes as she leaves. The students walk into the school bus, and Mr. Lorenzo asks them to place their phones in a bag. Ever informs him she doesn't have a phone, and he makes fun of her. She gets on the bus and sits beside Tamara. Ever scolds Tamara for not paying attention to Randall because they've known him for a long time. Randall steps onto the bus, and Danny makes fun of his stained shirt. JC talks to a girl named Candace and informs her she should wear black lipstick. Candace thanks her for the advice but soon realizes that JC is making fun of her braces. Ryan gets on the bus, and Danny gets uncomfortable as he stares at him. The journey begins, and after a while, Lorenzo wakes up from sleep and realizes they're driving in the wrong direction. He asks the driver to stop, but the driver gets angry as Lorenzo threatens to report him. He stops looking as he's driving, and he hits someone. The person's blood splatters on the windshield, and the bus crashes into a tree in the woods. Some students get minor injuries from the accident, but no one is badly hurt. The students hear a banging noise on the bus, and it startles them. The radio suddenly informs the students that the city is under chemical attack. A strange man places his hand on the bus window and scares the students. He stands at the entrance of the bus and knocks on the door. Lorenzo tells the driver he should open the door, and the driver refuses. He then insults the driver and forces him to open the door. The students rush to the back of the bus, and the strange man attacks Lorenzo and bites his neck. All the students begin to scream as the man attacks them, and some of them escape through the bus's back door. Ever tries saving Candace, but she gets dragged by the man. The surviving students run into the woods and wonder who the strange man is. Randall suggests they run into a building close by and they begin to run as they hear the monstrous man's screams. Danny runs into the building and trips on the guts of a dead horse. He gets up and joins the others as they continue walking in the woods. They arrive at a strange building, and Randall and Steven suggest that the man is a zombie. Danny says the man isn't a zombie, and as they hear his screams, they run into the building. They split up and search for weapons, and Tamara goes with JC, Danny, and Hunt. Ever walks with Randall and Steven and finds some strange weapons in the house. Danny takes a weapon from Randall and uses it to barricade the door. The students suddenly hear screaming from outside and realize that Candace needs help. Ever suggests they help her, but the others don't agree. The zombie stands on a car and as it rushes to Candace, Ever begins screaming to get Candace's attention. The driver, who has been transformed into a zombie, breaks through the door, and they run away. The other zombie breaks the barricade and pursues the students as they run and lock themselves in a room. Ever turns on the lights, and Ryan startles the others as he walks in. He informs them of how the people the zombie attacked are behaving strangely, and Randall suggests they are turning into zombies. The zombies break into the room, and Randall helps them escape. Hunt fights off the zombies while Danny hesitates but joins him. The zombies eventually take Hunt, and Danny rescues Ever as he escapes. They run into a strange room, and Danny informs them that the zombies have taken Hunt. He blames Ever for what happened to Hunt and says their situation isn't random. They look around the room and see mannequins that look similar to them. The driver breaks in, and Danny knocks him out and strikes him multiple times. Ever finds a lighter in the driver's pocket, and she keeps it. Danny suddenly begins to act strange, and he says he's cold. He takes a jacket from a mannequin and puts it on. Randall realizes that Danny has been infected, 
and Danny leaves the room and walks up the stairs to a different floor. Danny gets violent and insults Ryan because he is overweight. The driver bursts through the door, and they move out of the way as he runs and pushes Danny through a window. They see Danny and the driver on the floor, and Danny suddenly gets up strangely and runs away. Randall informs them that leaving the building is too dangerous and suggests they barricade themselves inside. Eva refuses and says they'll starve because they don't have food or water. She says they can find help if they leave the building, and Randall asks her what she thinks they should do. She suggests they attract the zombies to one part of the building and escape through a different part. Randall yells at her as she says they aren't using common sense. Eva refuses to follow Randall's lead, and she plans on using fire to attract the zombies. That night, Eva straps some spray cans together and lights them up with a lighter. She sets a van on fire and rushes to the back as Tamara follows her. Tamara asks Eva not to go, and Eva reminds her that she left her to hang out with the cool kids when she needed her the most. Eva walks away, and Stephen decides to follow her. He asks her what will happen if there are more zombies in the woods and Eva tells him they don't have a choice. They make their way out of the building and sneak through the woods till they arrive at the bus. Stephen helps Eva get into the bus and climbs in. Eva crawls around the bus and gets startled by a bloody hand. She gets to the bag that contains the phones and sees that all the phones have been destroyed. Ever begins to doubt herself and says she's nothing. Stephen sits beside her and tells her not to feel bad. He tells her he knows how she feels and after talking for a while, Ever tries kissing him, but he hesitates because he thinks his breath is bad. As they're about to kiss, she sees the radio. Ever goes through the various radio stations and sees that they're still broadcasting their normal content. She pushes a tape into the player, and it plays the emergency broadcast they heard earlier, and Stephen injects her with a strange chemical. He begins to apologize as Ever gets dizzy and falls to the ground. Randall enters the bus and talks to Stephen. A few weeks earlier, Randall talks to Stephen and tells him he has a plan to get respect from the bullies and look like heroes. They begin making their plan in the building, and Randall informs Steve that he hired a man named Chip to help them. In the present, Chip steps into the bus and removes the mask. They reveal that they're the ones who placed the mannequins in the building, and the driver was in on the plan too. Ever realizes there aren't any zombies, but Chip and the others are controlling the other students through a strange drug. Ever remembers the note she picked up from Randall when Tamara hit him and saw some drawings in it. Stephen yells at Chip and Randall because their plan has led to the driver's death. Chip informs them he did his part, and the students are trapped in a cage. He tells them the students know about the plan and they have to eliminate them so they won't go to jail. Randall and Chip walk out of the bus, and Randall informs Stephen that Ever will have to die because she knows their plan. Randall and Steve return to the building, and Chip sits in the driver's seat on the bus. Ever hallucinates, and Lorenzo tells her that Chip will eliminate her if she doesn't do anything soon. Randall realizes he has always been destined to be a bad guy and opens a door. The other students are trapped in a cage, and the drug they were injected with is worn off. Ever crawls and tries leaving the bus, but Chip attacks her. Lorenzo reminds her of her mom's advice to make good choices. She begins to headbutt Chip and knocks him out with a large radio. Stephen injects the students with the drug, and Randall walks out of the room. Tamara walks to him, and he informs her that the zombies killed Ever. Tamara cries and hugs him, and he consoles her as he tells her to be strong. He asks her to get the other survivors to where they are, and she agrees to help him. Meanwhile, Ever gets up and gets out of the bus. She runs back to the building to stop Randall and Steve from eliminating the others. Randall informs the others that they trapped the zombies in a room and says they'll have to eliminate them to survive. He gives them weapons, and Ever enters the room where Steven is. He opens the door, and as the survivors are about to attack, Ever tells them not to and informs them that Randall and Steven are lying to them and set them up to be eliminated. Tamara believes Ever, and she hits Randall with her bat. Steven tries stabbing Ever with the injection, but Danny and the others grab him and beat him up in the cage. Randall gets up and attacks Ever with his sword. She defends herself with a crowbar, and Tamara rushes to help her. He uses his sword to break her bat, and as he's about to eliminate her, Danny runs to her and gets hit. JC takes the crowbar from Ever and knocks Randall down. He eventually gets up and Ever stabs him with multiple needles containing the drug. Ever pushes him down the stairs, and Tamara rushes to her. Randall returns to the room as the drug has changed him into a monster. All the girls get up and beat Randall up. He fights back, and Ryan goes to him and knocks him down. Ever uses his sword to knock Randall out. The following day, the students reconcile and settle their differences. Danny tells Hunt that Ryan was his best friend when they were both overweight, but he became mean to Ryan after he lost weight. Ever and Tamara sit together, 
and Tambra apologizes for not being with her when she was in need, and they reconcile. They return to the bus, and after working on it, they get it started. Lorenzo suddenly wakes up and startles them. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.